are we on? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Let's make the phone check. Lights. Lights. Cameras. This is Swanky. This is Lifestyle. This is Culture. Welcome to the social center of everything culture. Culture Daily. Well, time check. Two minutes past the hour of nine exactly. You're still check, watching check. Culture Daily. Welcome, welcome back. And yes, we are live in the building. We are live, we're live, we're live. Don't forget, listen, one big message I want to put out to you this morning is brush your teeth. Morning, Street. afternoon, even a president cup tea fighter. I know that's Street. hard though, but hey, brush your teeth. You know, like, yeah, just brush your teeth. How difficult would that supposed to be? Just brush your teeth. And if you don't do that, do that with um, president cup tea fighter. Pe- 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 now, pe- 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 now, guess what? So... You don't have a reason to say that it's too. Uh, you, you you don't have your size. It's it's there are different sizes. Different different. It comes in it come in different grams. Okay, there's mm-hmm. one seven five gram. There's the Ijaqua, um, uh pack as well. That's um, let me just confirm that for they come you. Come in real. different grams and it's yeah, also diff- white. Wow. Yeah yeah yeah. yeah. Wow. Wow. I don't even think the bigger the gram, the whiter it is. Oh, the same chale- whole, same same. <laughs> And they distribute nationwide. Oh, yeah, Chale. Nationwide. Yo, listen. <laughs> let me just let me tell you. Hey, push a J. I'm available on every corner. <laughs> hey, push a J. Are you guys still talking about the same thing? No, yeah, yeah, yeah. no, Lenny. Pusha we stopped yeah. the same thing about four minutes ago. No, yeah. I, I, just, <laughs> I, just, I just needed to understand. Pusha J. Yo, this house. Pusha J. You know, this house. Pusha J. Talking about grams and yeah. white. Oh, and you don't need much. Just a drop. Oh, just a drop. Just a little gram. Just a little bit. That's it. And it goes straight in your mouth. Yeah, it goes in your mouth. Like, yeah. It's got 175 gram. They've got. 65 uh, wow. and um uh, and 12 gram sachet. That wow. one will be dope. And the morning one takes you through the whole day. Oh, oh Charlie. Oh, Charlie. <laughs> oh, Charlie. Oh, push a J. Oh, Charlie. Push a J, push a C. Yeah, yeah man. Yeah, man. Yeah. Listen, yeah. and guess what? Guess what? <laughs> it's fortified. Mm. Yo, we're pro fluoride and micro calcium. Just say, your womb. Your womb. Pure. Oh, Charlie. It's pure. It's pure, bro. It smells good. It's pure. Oh, Charlie. Let no, no, me try. Sure Chuchi will say, yeah. oh, say oh, Charlie. Oh, the smile self will be added. Because every time you eat food and sugars get trapped between your teeth. <laughs> oh, Charlie. It leads to uh, to decay in some cases, foul breath. Mm. That doesn't mean you smell like a chicken, though. It means bad breath. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, like we said, three, two, one, welcome him. Welcome him back in the in the country and back in the house. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. Back in the Arthur. zone. Back in the zone, yo. Yeah. 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 First night I said was me, I've come my hair. Uh, uh, they go by I'm come. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Now, the last time Christian I had a chat and, and an interview was on another station, right? Yeah. We're talking heavily about hair and I was asking about what his parents think about his hair, you know, and then when he was growing. I don't even if you remember, it was in Hits of Oh, yeah. Like, that was like <laughs> two was years like, ago. Yeah, about 20, two to three years yeah, ago. Yeah, 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 two or three years yeah. ago. Yeah, we haven't spoken in a long time. Charlie, Very how are you doing? Man, I'm doing good, man. I'm super excited. Yeah. Good morning to all the listeners. I just dropped the project, you know. Yeah, My yeah, project yeah. just dropped, so yes. yeah, I make hyper. Uh, three. Uh, no, I know sleep, but yeah, yeah, yeah still. I can you know, tell. We're, now. we're going to come to the project. I'm saying that for the night, the, the next, the last 20 minutes of the show. But yo, you're still iced out. I say, still not iced, not chill. Who can cry? Oh, but any day, no, no. <laughs> foreign, no. Yeah. Too foreign, no. How long have you been out of town? <laughs> um, so I was gone for like a couple of weeks. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I was gone for a couple of weeks. Um, yeah, just a hey, weeks. Yeah, no crazy. Well, we didn't follow. Oh, a couple of you. weeks, a couple of weeks. In Timber Ban, I'm a court. Like, ah. I they come, then I they go. Luke. But I'm just like being low key, you know, working on the low, putting stuff together on my end. Charlie, where did we start the conversation from? There's a whole list yeah. of conversations to have. These days, when he performs, he does not remove his shirt again. I want to understand if Charlie, that's the way we've spoken about that. Yeah. 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 Talking about that in this house, like yo, it'll surprise you. Like yeah. we're talking about it. Yeah. Like, yeah, we miss you. The Ch- streets chest. Don't I mean, I don't, don't want to sound. I don't want to sound no QI. You understand? Yeah. I don't want to sound no LGs yeah. and QIs and yeah. BTQs. Yeah. But I'm just saying, I miss you. <laughs> 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 the streets say they want the no shirt could see at the back. They want the Philly station could see at the back. Why? So let's start. I know why. Let's start from the. No, you said the streets are saying. That. I'm just asking why the streets want him without the t-shirt. Ah, oh, come on, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so the thing, like, I'm still, I'm still, I'm still that person, yeah. you know, though I've grown from, like, who I used to be, you know, like, you go through new experiences as a yeah. human being. Yeah. yeah, I've gone through that, but, yeah, there are instances where I still did take off my tea. Yeah. Bob. Unfortunately, for my last couple 
performances have been performing in the cold. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know I'm a cold enter somewhere. <laughs> yeah, so I just <laughs> Yeah, but like yeah, I still it's still it's still Chrissy out there. Yeah. You know, and I'm still serving good music. You yeah. mentioned yeah. growth, right? Well, yeah. what would you say led to, you know, the growth um in your music and then also personally? Yeah. Um, I would say life, you know, mm. living, going through multiple experiences. Mm-hmm. You know, yeah, time. Time just Way Charlie, this world we did, yeah, it could teach you. You feel mm. me? Yeah, you so I feel like, need. yeah, there's with been a lot of like instances mm-hmm. where I've had to go for them, you know. With with the f- couple weeks at a time, Loki, all that was it an intentional idea to get into new spaces, or were you just trying to stay Loki and like with fame and success comes all these eyeballs, all these expectations, all these issues, etc. Right? Yeah. So at the point artists across the world everywhere sometimes just say you know for this year they chill yeah or there's a plan that okay maybe i've been in this area for too long Mm -hmm. make i go see how what they will go on for other spaces and use that to inspire myself which one was is the quisiata story um so you know i had been my whole life like i've been in ghana for my whole life like every time i did here you know and i'm someone who loves to travel even when i'm in ghana like been in Tema, I did like go see other places of Ghana, you know. And mm. yeah, over the past few weeks, it's been like it was over the past few yes. years. Yeah. yeah, um, I've gone through a lot, you know, like being introduced to fame, doing music, meeting new people. Like people used to treat you a certain way, now all of a sudden, then they treat you different. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You did, Bob. Mm-hmm. I just, I just wanted to be away for a while, you know. And yeah, Lelo, even I wasn't even here in December. You know, yeah, yeah, I wasn't. We, we spoke, yeah, I, yeah, I, I had to sit up. it out, you know. Then I was like, yo, I come Ghana like every December. This one, I make a sit them out, then just put stuff together, you know. And this project, this is not the tape three, is one of the births from that whole period, you know. So when I saw that this is not the tape, um, I saw in your post, I thought he was actually saying no wait guys i'm not gonna read i made a mistake in my earlier post this is not the tape <laughs> <laughs> i was i was just going to i was like okay all right no oh wait rapper his brother is there yeah, i get he's it rapping on the title, yeah, yeah. Rapping on the title. <laughs> i also noticed that you 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 had um, a special release a pre-release of the tape yeah which was supposed to be for your fans and having them to pay for it yeah that was the first time experience doing that for you, right? Yes. What very first? What, what was the feedback? What did you realize? What did you notice? Did the fans actually pay for it? Oh, so I had the uh, um the idea was to connect with my people, right? You know, and yeah. like That's to give your people very who are core, very fans. core, fans. dedicated yeah. like followers of Chrisiata's music. Mm. Yeah, the plan was to connect with them and to actually see like what my the people who support my music are like. So mm. that was kind of like a test you know this be it'd be like a new platform that is mm-hmm. just like happening and like being rolled out into the world of music mm-hmm. so when i saw this i was like yo i have an opportunity to serve my fans like music directly and yeah. like not have them go through any middleman like a ds like yeah, these DSP, distribution yeah. platforms and stuff mm-hmm. so i was like yo let me try this and yeah like the whole process it, w- it wasn't a long process you know, it was like a real quick process. So I yeah. was like, yo, let me just try this and see how my people go react to it. And it was, there was a lot of backlash a bit because yeah, people yeah, cause, yeah. aren't really used, used to music being sold in this time. Yeah. But yeah, I be, but the thing we said, music has never been free. You know, there was a time when growing up, I didn't see cassettes for my house. Yeah. It, was, it wasn't, dis- it wasn't like, distributed for free, right? Yeah. 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 Vinyls and things, yeah. it'd be bought. But yeah. it feels like since there's been, like, the invention of Spotify, yeah. the Apple Music, people have been conditioned to think, oh, music is free. Yeah, so this was actually, like, a test to see, oh, who, if I put out something, who's really going to, like... I mean, purchase not, it not and like you know spend with not to me, get into the you know? not to get to the, the the dashboard of the the revenue but yeah like you said it was a test oh but know. all today inside yeah okay yeah, well, all so but inside. did you see did you see the numbers did they did they, did they, did they really show and prove oh that it was it'd be it'd be quiet it'd be interesting mm. yeah it'd be quite interesting and yeah coming from where we're from i thought the numbers were gonna be way lower oh, you know right, right the reaction towards it people 
a lot of people online were like, yo, yeah, why? I, What's I up? We don't get money than 10. <laughs> but actually, like, it was it was really impressive. And yeah, shouts to everyone who bought the project. Is this something that you'd want to maintain or something that you want to just test and then, look, let me, let me just still work with music, not free, it's still yeah. on other DSPs, but... Um, I just might want to stick to this 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 place. Oh, I think my next couple of releases too. I go go that same route mm. as well. Yeah, I could go that same route. Wow. Uh, what? Yeah. Uh, okay, serial. I like what you said about. Um, that's part of the fact. Say people online had certain type of comments. The reflection at the back end was that people actually really liked it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that that balance of you know what people are saying versus what's really on the ground. Yeah. How does it affect the artistry? Because I know what it's like to release, right? You get nervous. Yeah. No matter how dope you think the project is, when you put it down, the first few minutes is like, Charlie, how, how do people go take it? How, how do you deal with that? Yeah, so when we were getting that like kind of mixed reaction, it didn't make you didn't think to, yeah, to ah, Charlie, so would this be, do. yeah. But um, as it like as time, you know, pass on, and we just say, oh, people are actually like purchasing. People actually, they react to this. And yeah, Unfortunately, the platform we use, like Ghana, you know, people don't really have access to visa cards and stuff. So we couldn't have as many people from here as possible. But like the few who like had mm. visa cards and stuff, they yeah. were able to purchase. So moving forward, maybe we are looking to introduce stuff like mobile money, mm -hmm. you know, to mm. help more people have mm. access to this. Mm. And yeah, just enjoy that whole experience as well. Is it something that was difficult for you to decision that was difficult for you to take, you know, in putting out music that was going to be for sale? Oh yeah, very much, very much. Because me, so for me, as I did come up being an artist, then SoundCloud be one of the, like my favorite, yeah, yeah. like yeah. Yeah. websites that I use, yeah. yeah. Cause it'd be free and I didn't have the funds like that mm -hmm. most times to purchase or mm -hmm. nothing, you know? So yeah, I was thinking about, oh, my fans, we then no get to what they're going to do. But I was like, yo, like it will, it, go, it will definitely come out for everyone to yeah. have access to it. Yeah. And like, yeah, now this is the time where everyone has access to this project. So yeah, I hope they can also have that. that so does it mean that the core fans, as well. the core fans, well, those who went to purchase cool. What about those who couldn't afford to purchase? Yeah. Uh, is there a thought for them with regards to how your music should get to them? Um, in terms of that, like some of the, you know, be every core fan self will go have the money self to buy or spend right. with you, right. yeah. you know, but yeah, they this are all thought about. So like, we just, we are like, oh, now it's everywhere. So you can have it now. It's everywhere now. It's on YouTube, which is absolutely free yeah. for people to also have access to it. It's, it's everywhere now. So. Okay, now let's move away from that. Let's talk about the relocation for a bit of in and out um, yeah. Was it therapeutic for you, uh, a sense of getting away from everyone? Um, you feel you were maybe probably in some woods in the dark uh, with regards to everything happening around in Ghana. Um, did, that, did that help you in any way, Reef, maybe find yourself, inspiration, yeah. lyrics, music, ideas? Did that help in any way? Um, I would say... It was it was a new environment for me. It was a new experience, mm -hmm. you know. And I didn't really relocate. Like I'd be somebody where I didn't see myself as like a global individual, you know. There's been periods where I've been in London for like okay. two months Answer where nobody knew about. Because I was but gonna ask like, why US? Yeah. Most of most artists do that, maybe to the US. Yeah. Back in the day, back in the day you had UK. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. you know lately but i it's think you mentioned you yeah, it shifted mm, yeah so i've i've been doing this often like i did, i go go somewhere for like a month two months where nobody go hear about them you know but for some reason i don't know it's like it leak for somewhere <laughs> where like people are making like so yeah, much fuss about, about it <laughs> yeah like it's rather unfortunate and if you said the whole period to i was dropping stuff i was making music i was putting music out I was um, working with other producers out there, mm -hmm. you know, so it be, it didn't make you to feel some way like, yo, like, what's up? Mm -hmm. Yeah. For, for okay. a brand that started with community love, right? Yeah. The whole vibe. Mm -hmm. And going global, putting your footprint out, putting work, new, new, new inspirations, etc. What's the fan base outside of the Ghanaian fan base been like for you? Like feeling because it's different if your homegrown people day or back. Yeah. Then going somewhere else and actually getting love that has nothing to do with where you are from, 
the color of your skin, mm -hmm. what language mm -hmm. you speak. Mm -hmm. People mm -hmm. will just yeah. mess with, yeah. with you because that'd be some dopeish. Yeah. What's, what's that? What, what's, what's Basically, what you're like? saying is that what we still want a t shirt, Chris. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no, like I never hear any one of them like saying that, you know. But it's, it's great to be in the presence of people who you would never think like you could ever cross paths with or like come from the same place you are from in terms of like Tema or Ghana mm. and go relate to your story. But music, music be, music be like really crazy and like it be universal language, you know. So meeting people like that who connect with the music as well is like very humbling, you know. It Did be that very affect humbling. your craft in any harm? Um, so yeah. right now I'm more mindful. I'm more mindful about the messaging as well. You know, I'm more mindful about the messaging and how I make my music and like what I talk about as well. Cause I go like connect with all these Everybody. people and yeah, you know, just grow the mm -hmm. <coughs> image that worry, and Does the that music. worry you? Cause I mean, I'm not gonna mention any names, but there's been artists that as they grew and expanded and got new fan bases and wanted to accommodate everybody. Yeah. Those who like them for who the filling wait, station, yeah. no shirt by the yeah. cacquis. You understand? Yeah. You change on us, you know, they do it. <laughs> do you worry about it that in your bid to be that big for everybody's happiness, you know, you say you can't please everybody. Yeah. As you're trying to please all of us, you know, are you worried that these people already, they say, you know, they do your shirt again. Yeah. Are you worried that it's going to get worse and worse and worse on, on that line? Oh, I feel like people are always going to complain about about how I make music, you know. Cause um I'm not that same person who then who they walk around them and they go find studio to record, you know. That's not me anymore. I've grown from that. Like I have different experiences from the experiences I had four years ago, five years ago. I've I come your studio set before. Yeah, I don't know if yeah, you can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I did like. Hey, wait, don't record you, eh? This guy, sorry, did. Oh, oh. Uh, sure. Magnum, did. Magnum, Magnum, record. Yeah. Neil Magnum, uh, Magnum. record me. Uh, so you came with Uche as well. You come the crib with Uche. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Sister, yeah. sister, yeah, yeah. yeah. sister, bro. <laughs> if you be like you, they, you they do safe to me. Yeah, no problem. <laughs> yeah, so yeah. I'm not, I'm not that same person anymore. I be like, I'm having new experiences. I'm experiencing new things. So I said, I would love to talk about all these experiences through my music as well mm -hmm. your journeys and stuff yeah then 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 hoping other people like relate to it too you mm. know and what, 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 happens, happen, you what, what happens um at the point where this off the back of Sio's question right um at the point where you feel like you're losing your core um audiences because also some people you agree that some people like Olele made reference to the streets yeah. they relate to you because you know of your authenticity yeah. right and the sort of brand we saw on the onset we sometimes make just appositions where we say that the reason the Kwesi Asa brand blew fast was because you know he was very very relatable don't you think you know by also opening up wanting to share your experiences some way some Somehow, you know, you've been losing touch yeah. exactly with, you know, your core um, fan base. Yeah, well, at the end of the day, like, I'm a human being, you know, and like, I always go talk about my human experience, and there'd be like billions of human beings in the world. Okay. You know, so definitely, like, I go <laughs> share some. <laughs> I go share something somebody else go feel connect to. Yeah. yeah. But, but in regards to my core fan base, no, it no be just like, I'm not one dimensional. You know, mm. when I started, when I started like being out there, like you go see, say I did rap, then I go do a cover of like an Afro Afrobeat song. You know, so people who've been with me from the beginning, like they know, they know what mm -hmm. I'm about, like they know what I do. So I feel like, yeah, they, most of them are going to connect with it. Okay, now let me yeah. drill okay. to your lyrical content. Now, has that in any way changed? Um, so I I I realize now you're a bit you are harder. It's if I don't know, maybe just as me, you, I feel you are harder. I feel you are you 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 say it as it is with regard like, yo, I'm just telling you, take it or leave it. Unless it's just me, but has that in any way changed? Your has your lyrical content changed? I know inspirations have changed, but I want to see if it reflects into your music in any way. Yeah. What you talk about, what you will say, what you wouldn't say. Yeah. Has that in any way changed? Well, yeah, I say like I they have new experiences. So on one of the songs I say, I did ATL the chop pasta. I be mm. somebody like five years ago, like all the mommy I mean Like it'd be something we yeah, I wasn't 
used to. So uh-huh. like now, mm-hmm. like this, I'm saying new things because I'm experiencing new things. Okay. You know? mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm experiencing new things, and I, like, I, I'm definitely gonna talk I about all that. I want to piggyback on that. And um, oh wait, so we have, we have an album out now, right? Yeah. Yes. Okay, okay, we're gonna go through one by one. Yeah. Mixtape out. Sorry, yeah. we're gonna go through one by one. I wanted, p- I wanted to piggyback. Production, on. can you get that cover up for me? <clears throat> get, let's get it ready. Okay. We'll I wanted go to piggyback it. on what um, Jay is saying about your lyrics. Um, having listened to Live from Nkrumah to um, Son of Jacob, which was like the last one before um, this is on the tape. Um, I've noticed that some of your singles, like Pain and Penny and all those things, are some of the records that you have really touched on certain things some delicate sensitive issues and there is the rap artistry where you are aspirational and you talk about or you try to be relatable but there's also the bit where you pour out your, your emotions and your soul into mm-hmm. these records mm-hmm. now when you look at the, the pain um the lyrics um the lyrics of pain you say things like friends tend to foes friends tend to foes i remember times we not get close social labor just to get to shows then you also say that how you break the code, how you break the code. Yeah. Is this something you were addressing? Is this something that you were trying to say? It was was it like a, a message you were sending across? It was just you trying to be relatable. Oh yeah, it's definitely a message. Well, if you listen to the song, yeah. like you yeah. could hear the message for instance. Pain and even with the, the artwork and everything, I'm like, what's going on with you? I mean that's that's a lot of fire, that's a, like a lot of amber yeah. coming from you. And Jay asked if you had to relocate to to free up your mind yeah. was it was it a season in your life where you had to really come out and you know find a therapeutic way of dealing with it yeah so in regards to pain interlude you know like then yeah i did talk about like betrayal and having certain expectations of people mm. you did bob but like humans like you go have expectations of somebody then it won't turn out to be what you expected it to be mm. you know mm. and like yeah people they do like most almost everybody go choose themselves right you did, Bob. Right. yeah so yeah it just it, it just rubbed me off the wrong way mm. you feel me and yeah i had to speak on it. if you listen to the song yeah i feel like it's kind of self-explanatory yeah it, it, the reason i'm asking this is because um for a rapper to get into that bag yeah. and be very vocal in that area is this something that you say you didn't handle well even though you didn't see it coming you yeah know, was it did it affect your mental health in any uh-huh. way uh-huh. you know yeah did it disconnect you from the grid so much so that now your fans are looking for the cruciata from of, of life from Nkrumah and you are going through a lot you are going through it and people thought oh it's just cruciata dropping a record as usual yeah All right but after pain and i think you dropped penny as well yeah which is a similar theme if i'm not mistaken uh-huh. and then you you know you went off the grid a bit you know i want to find out around that time in that period what was going on with you were you seeing were you seeking help were you talking to people were you trying to refine yourself mm-hmm. yeah or was the music the therapy or was the music the therapy um so around that period like i i was recording i was okay. recording around that time yeah i was recording around that time and that's where during that period that's where i got records like Fefen and Fe. I was in the studio with Nectunes all the time. Yeah, Yeah, I had the pleasure of working with like one of these top producers from Atlanta, Troy Taylor. Mm. Like he's like a legendary producer and he produced Ginger of this project. And yeah, like, you know, like where we're from, nobody really like teaches you about fame and Mm. like Mm. how to deal with it. Yeah, how to deal with it. Mm. You know, Mm. so Mm. yeah, I feel like for a long time, I had been like in the limelight, you know, mm-hmm. I'd been in the limelight, taking everything in. And yeah, like when you like, it was just, it was just so much, you know, it was just so much. Mm. And going through what I I went through in terms of like moving with people and like all of a sudden, like you have expectations of people mm. and like it doesn't turn out the way you want it to be, you know, like. It hurts so much. Because how bad me? was that situation? I mean, <clears throat> it's it's um it's an open truth. Uh, it's not it's an it's open. Secret. It's uh, secret. It's information yeah. out there. Your exit. How did you deal with that? You know, I, we don't need a, the details and the intricacies yeah. of the whole situation. But how did you deal with that? You know, like you said, you have put so much trust, in, you know, in, in people, people managing stuff for you. And this is this is life. This is career. Yeah. And maybe it doesn't meet the expectation. How difficult was it for you to 
um, I don't want to say start off again, but have to now Realign. do things. Yeah, it got derail you. Oh yeah, 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 for sure, yeah. For sure. How how do you deal with the whole situation? Yeah, was so out there was the news. People were talking about it. Chris, yeah. Arthur, ground up this, that, you know, and all of that. Yeah. So like the thing was, yeah, I had to I had to just like put on my big boy pants and I like, <laughs> still keep it moving. You feel me? Just keep it moving. Keep recording. Keep working. You feel me? And like it wasn't like how it used to be because like. I always had, like, we had a system of working, mm. you know, mm -hmm. around, like, with those people, like, there was a system of working together. And, like, when I, like, when you leave the system, like, everything is brand new for you, right. you know? So, yeah, but, it's like a new fortunate, yeah, but, like, fortunately for me, like, I still kept pushing, you know? Like, and the Yawa team, you see, as I go through the thing, like, people were, them for help you no it's like yeah then they bash you you know mm. and in this internet age like how me like being outside for a while like i do that all the time like mm -hmm. how is it all out in the media mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. that'd be some way so it's it's like people are intentionally like crippling you with uh, trying to do trying stuff to you know? it, yeah in so, retrospect it, real talk did you in, ever feel like giving up in the, in the oh hell no bro in the heat mm. of that hell in the heat no of that where you started from the, the 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 whole issue that the internet is going crazy yeah. you have to, but you still have to pull your oh, pants never, up and go bro. to the studio never Did you ever look yourself in the mirror and say charlie why did you do all this never never for real on god never ever 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 so reports about because yeah i thought not trying to do music anymore or may not do music anymore because i know you saw yeah. all that I oh saw i think you. i think it's from like it's only a dumb person would think i want to stop making music mm. like throughout all that all that period i dropped pain interlude yeah i dropped yeah. penny penny mm -hmm. yeah you know yeah. we after some time i dropped for life for life yeah you know so i've been making music like yeah. if I would have stopped making music like it would have been then. Yeah, it would have been ago. then. It would have mm. been like 2022. Mm, mm, you know, mm, but mm. like it's been 2020. I'm still putting out stuff. Mm -hmm. I just put out my first project, you know, mm -hmm. like off my own music company I started, CC, mm. in okay. honor of my grandmother. Oh, you wow. know, so people thinking, "Oh, uh, ah, Charlie, how go quit?" Wow. Then times, bro, I've been God has been so good to me. Mm. You know, mm -hmm. I'm I'm in a position now where I de help people. I give people hope. I inspire so many people. Mm. You know, sick of me, like, I'm, I don't mean to, like, blow my own trumpet, yeah, yeah, yeah. but, but like, I've been an inspiration is, to yeah. so I many lot. people. And, like, Granted. All, like, there's a lot of young artists who, who look follows, up to yeah, me follow and, the like, blueprint. saw yeah, me yeah. and it's like, yo, Charlie, if this guy go feed you, I go feed you too. One, so of them, yeah. one, one of them is Black Sheriff. Ha, yeah, ha, bro. I, I, I know that there was a tweet that popped up some t a long time ago he told that he said i wish christiata knew how much i loved him yeah right i don't know if you saw that too i think yeah. he also said the same thing you know he has always said countless times right on record that you've ins you inspired him even before he became black sheriff right yeah i don't know if you guys have a record together you guys are working a record together but having no, 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 let's ask that friend do they have a record together, you have, you have a record together? <laughs> oh yeah like yeah, I'll be Twitter head. Like yeah. I should say, you've come yeah, across. Yeah, I've it. seen. I've seen. I'll, I'll get to that video. Yeah. I mean, I just wanted to come from a different direction, right? Yeah. Because Harry, Harry, the, I want to know. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> the, like, I want to know. You know, like the inspiration you pour into these artists. You know, looking at yeah. artists like Black Sheriff, what is the fulfillment like? You know, and looking at the strides this guy is continually gaining you know and he just keeps moving it's like yeah you poured yourself into yeah. this guy like, you yeah. know, in a way and like, he, he, catapulted he, he doesn't his, fail his, to his, forget his. that you know at once upon a time he used to he used to rap like you yeah. you know what what do you make of, of such you know um accolades when it when it comes to it, especially with all the things that you have to deal with you know yeah. and people saying that you know you are finished you're quote unquote you are you're yeah. done and everything how does that make you feel like well like i'm just honored to be the vessel that like god used to inspire all these people mm -hmm. you know like yeah and like seeing somebody like black sharif seeing a uh, out tug you mm, know go mm. on platforms and like mention my name that mm. i inspired them like mm. it's so it, like oh i feel god. honored you know was this always the goal when you started your rap nah i never think never so, cross like, your mind yeah. feel, say, Yo, Charlie, you, because yeah. of this guy i want to do it too mm -hmm. you know yeah. so it's really like humbling you know you felt that way about sarko in your early days yeah you saw yeah. sarko that did he, he did what he did and you were yeah. like because of sack i can do it yeah but that wasn't your your goal wasn't to do it so that other people would do it you were just trying to follow your dream but now yeah. people are saying the things you said about sarko 
Yeah. How does that make you feel? That, that's that's like yeah, that's like, a, like it's it's humbling and like it's an honor, you know. It's an honor, bro. Is that I, a reason why you can't stop? Well, that's has like has it changed? The motivation changed now, bro. Like the motivation is still to tell my story. Okay. You know, it's mm-hmm. to tell my story and like yeah, keep making music. Mm-hmm. You know? I, music, I, I bro, I love music. You your, know? your 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 comeback, right? Let me just put it as a comeback because for some people, oh, it's not know, a comeback. I'm still not... here. I've been here. Okay, so yeah. your releases, right? For all yeah. of the songs that you've released after, I'm saying a comeback because you know we knew you were with Ground Up and then you broke off from them and then we had a follow period in there somewhere. That's why I'm referring to it as a comeback since 2022, right? But in retrospect, are there things that you know you did on the onset of your career that moving forward you know you've learned your lessons from and then also that has impacted you know your life and your music now yeah well like i'm still at it you know and i've like i've been at it this is not a comeback you know because you have to have been here doing that and in terms of yeah like what i would have done different Mm -hmm. you know like i would have i wouldn't have attached feelings to it you know like it'd be business you know, and like being a being a kid from Tama, you know, like thinking, oh, Charlie, somebody like they give me opportunity, make a. I feel like yeah, desperation also plays a part in in it as well, you right. know, because yeah, I'm like yo, Charlie. Somebody they way say like you want work with me, make we put music out, you mm-hmm. know, like mm-hmm. yeah, like even the contract, like I didn't even have a lawyer look at the contract, mm. you know, at that time. Mm. You know, yeah, which was like a mistake I made, mm-hmm. you know, and I feel like, yeah, all these other kids out there should also like, don't, Charlie, don't be too desperate. It go happen. Mm. You know, like believe in your talent and I like, keep working. But I, I beg, no, be we all, some of, some of we are still friends, so we, we will call you, we don't bring contract terms. We're a small show, we're really going to need your help. So, like, yeah, lawyer, just hold on, hold on, hold on, lawyer. Yeah, fees are uh, but but let me go back to, let me go back to, the, to, the, to, the, to the black hole. You were saying something about yeah, the black so, hole and now you so take past inspiration. This, there is this popular... No, but I want to... T- there's See this the popular trap. video of Chrissy and Black Hole shooting yeah. a video. I think it's a BTS. And every year, that video pops up and it trends. Yeah. And the oh, question that the people keep yet. asking is, where, where, where is the, the record? Thing? Please don't yeah. say this sheet is taking long. Yeah, where is the record? And maybe because you want to talk, put, put it, they just put it to bed. Where is the yeah. record? What's happening to the record? Um, For now, <laughs> I don't think the record is going to come out. What? You know? what yeah, yeah I don't think it's going to come out. Because like, even how it was put out was some way, you know? Okay. Yeah, like... It was kind of leaked in a way. Okay. Uh, okay. And like, yeah, it just made the go waste. Are you, you saying know? this because you listen to the verses you laid on the on, on the beat and you're like, mm, maybe I could do something better? Or you and Blacko are talking about another another record altogether? Or you get a yeah, at, this, now. at this point, it's also old as well. You know, it's okay. also old. No, 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 right. no, 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 no. Yeah. Mistake artist. <laughs> oh, it's the old <laughs> record. No, artist. You guys play the song. No, but I can understand that. No, but I can understand that. You know, like, we are the artists. Yeah, right? like, we both have had the conversation. Like, we've had the conversation about it mm. being too Charlie, old. Charlie, a black hole crazy Arthur would be a crazy song. Oh, yeah, like... So are they working on something like new? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh-huh. I know you as a hip-hop head, and I know in your favorite playlist, some of the so at least one third of the songs be old songs. <laughs> your favorite hip-hop songs. If you are seeing names right now, <laughs> <Yeah>. you <laughs> love, one third of them be old songs. You <laughs> can mention some names right now. So for us, the fans, we don't care when you did it, bro. Bro, like yeah. the time. Like, like we there, Charlie, bro, we there. Forget about we. We don't care what you did. You're yeah, a black I want to commission all the hackers. Yeah, yeah Charlie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 you know what I'm saying? talk about them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do that. But yeah, like at this point, we feel like it's a it's a really old record, you know. And like how it came together, it came at a point where like, yeah, we were both in like different situations, mm. you know. Yeah, and mm. I remember, mm. yeah, I remember calling him to pull up to the studio, and yeah, I recorded him myself, like oh, wow. on my logic, you know. Mm. Yeah, so it's like kind of weird f- to hear rumors later that yeah. you know I'm like I don't like him and like yeah we, I was know, gonna I was gonna ask you that yeah that, that's you know. like that's really stupid you know and was like, that that's was very that the reason why you had to invite him over to the studio just to shut you know no that was like way before that it was way before that <laughs> yeah that wow. was way before that and like even after that like we ha- we've had conversations conversation you know what was it like recording with Black Hole was this, this was this post second sermon or Kuku the traveler era yeah, i think it was it was before it was before that it was before, before that second sermon it was before second sermon wow oh, wow oh. yeah 
What, what was it like? What was it like in the studio with him, with Blacko? Like fresh out of box, you know, excited answers. Yeah. You know, he's come with fire. That is your he 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 sees you as an inspiration, and the two of you are in the studio recording. How is that like? Yeah, well, I thought like he was really talented, and I like I was inspired by his craft as well. Mm, mm, you know, mm. yeah, and like, yeah, it's it's humbling too to mm. know that oh, like somebody like. I've been a source of inspiration to someone, mm. you know. Yeah, mm. but he's a he's an incredible artist. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Talking yeah, about like, inspirations, right? You did mention that you started um, a music company, yeah. right, in honor of your grandmother, right? Are we going to see you bring aboard, you know, a lot more younger people who have the fire, who are ready to, you know, put in the work, put themselves out there, and create magic through the music? Yeah, we definitely, definitely. You know, and like the thing about me is <laughs> I like I always, won't do it. <laughs> no, I've always been to. supporting like other artists. Like I've always been supporting other artists, regardless of like if they Sign are known or unknown. No, no, you know, yeah, like yeah, yeah I'm a lover of music, yeah, and like yeah, 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 if I they love your music, yeah, I go, I go love to um, put something in it. Mm. You know, so moving forward, yeah, I would definitely love to work with other okay. artists as okay. well. Like, with, yeah, and like not just musicians, like. Paint this, yeah, creatives in general, creators, yeah, right, um, right, right. I mean, okay. Just not to take us back, but just to, to, to say this on the black hole issue, right? What you just described to me for us, the fans, right? Yeah, that'd be time travel. That's the closest we go come to a time machine, yeah, that yeah. we didn't know that at the genesis of black hole, you were already see that was already here, yeah, had a studio session on his own logic with this, and that is preserved yeah. to we, the fans, know. Releasing that to us is a time machine. Come bro. on. What are you and Black Ola? <laughs> what are you and Black Ola? Come on, you go and you know, see what they do. That'd be your personal issue. But <laughs> to be the fans, to, really bro, that to see that Black Ola at that era mm -hmm. and that uh, uh, Kwesi at that era. Cyril, it's like time travel, bro. I just it. Cyril, it's to like, us. It's like why, why did they get yeah. why did they like, with like Imagine, that. imagine Cole J Cole says, "Oh, he met Kendrick way back before he even met Jay Z. They get on one track." You don't go like hear that track. Oh yeah, <laughs> that, 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 yeah. Bye bye. Be up to Kendrick and Jay. Bro, I go like yeah. both of you. <laughs> 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 no, I so, knew Sirius uh, agenda. I, so let me let me Sirius, use this agenda. Let me use agenda. agenda. So, so, uh, so <laughs> when you when you artists do that to fans, like do you feel it's fair? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, especially when you hear no, the fans it, talk about yeah, it. Yeah, like, because oh, I'm like, I would really want to hear. Let me say like we did. We want we want to give like our fans the best. You know, yeah, we want to give. And you know, music to be about energy, energy. you know. Mm -hmm. And like, if we yeah. we they feel some way about putting it out, I feel like yeah, we for be certain about them before we put it out, you know. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right, Jay, can we get the can we get the the the, 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 um, the mixtape cover on there? Well, let, let's go through the, 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 track, the track list, list now. Yeah. Let's let's talk about it in, in, in each one. How many songs are on there, by the way? It'd be nine songs. Nine, nine songs. songs in total. Wow, yeah. nine. Wow, that's okay. Yeah. What, was I so the thing with this project is. This is not the tape. It'd be something like I release often, oh, like yeah. before my main, yeah. like my albums and stuff. Okay, uh, meaning that there should be a meaning to everything happening here. Yeah, yeah. crazy three stripes. Uh, this is not the tape. What 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 is what what does it mean? Oh, like it just like it's the third one. Okay, yeah, it'd be the third installment. Okay, and the thing is, with these projects, usually how are they do on B? Um, I only put three or four songs on there. You yeah, know, that's what I was asking. But, about but with this one, I mm -hmm. just decided to give the people more because it's it's been a while they had you know like something yeah. from me. So you know I mixed I mixed a lot of flavors into this, and yeah, decided to give them nine solid songs. Yeah, oh. I know, so yeah, this one there, you can stay with them for a while. You know, the last are you, are you alone on the, on the project? Um, no, 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 I'm not. Mm. Um, I have Joey B on the project. Mm. I have IDK on the project. Um, I have Stoneboy. Stoneboy did a crazy outro on Raging Bulls with me and Joey B. Yeah, mm. big ups to Stoneboy. Big ups Joey B. I had a lot of producers work on it as well. Shout outs to Crept who produced Raging Bull. I had mm. Honorable C Notes also produce Jungle Music. Um, Troy Taylor, who I mentioned earlier, mm. did Ginger. Fefe Nefe was produced by Neptunes. Mm, mm. Um, I had MOG work on there as well. I had my boy A Swag also on there. And Rhymes, who's a producer from um, London, also has a song. Okay, let's let's on go there. to track one. Just talk, talk to us about One of One. Yeah. The first track. Oh, one of One, it just be me talking about being one of one, you know. I'd be special, like just like everybody, you know. I'm a, I'm a one of one. There's nobody yeah, else like, like me, me, and that'd be my superpower. Okay. Yeah. Can't relate. 
Yeah, country late is it's about how yeah, I'm a one of one as well and like you know, you have to be me to understand what yes, I go man. through. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah. And like people people can't really relate. Mm. Um Jungle music part one and part two. Jungle music. Yeah. Okay, what is jungle music? Oh, jungle music be just like a music, like a song talking about um, living in a jungle and navigating through it. You know, we they we they live in jungle, Charlie. Jungle of the industry. Oh, no, of a world. Just gonna ask <laughs> world. Jungle of life. Well, they was talking about life. More here, like, yeah. Like that. <laughs> yeah, of a world. It be jungle out here, you know. So yeah, yeah if you watch your body else, yes. it will get Charlie. eaten. Yeah. Yeah. So Raging bull. Okay, I, I, sorry, I'm just getting this because some questions were coming in. I wanted to see to ask them now, but let me finish this first. Let's go to the next one, Hijack. Raging Bull, actually. Oh, sorry, Raging Bull. Yeah, yeah. so Raging Bull, that's the record with Joey B on there. And the funny thing about this record, like how we created it was like so amazing. So Krep sent me a Snapchat video of him playing the beats in the studio. And I was like, yo, bro, this be crazy. I did come right now. So I from Tema, I jumped on the motorway. I drove straight to East Legon where I linked crept, like, got in the booth. Like, I don't even, like, I didn't write anything down. It just, like, came it, it just flew from my brains, you know. That'd be crazy making that. And Joey had that, and he, he loved it. Because I recorded him for Joey B in studio. Okay. okay. Yeah, so Joey B heard it, and he's like, yo, bro, I really did mess with this one. Like, the next thing I okay. know, Joey B dropped verse. All right, so, so, so hold on. So now, how does that also work with artists? Um, when I used to rap, those times where I know hits, <coughs> it'd be cool. But I'm just saying that now. <laughs> like, so your intention maybe was just solo you on there, and then another fellow artist hits you up that I want to be on there. Yeah. Is it easy to say, oh, this song, I won't make me pedo him, or... <laughs> so that Tim B say, there was a free verse space on there. Okay. Yeah, there was a free verse space on there. Okay. Where Joey B too would be somebody where, like, He'd be really versatile. He go he enter different bags. Straight. And yeah, I hear in verse where my mind just bust. I'm like, yo, bro, like, let's do this together. Keep it. Yeah, yeah, let's do this together. What was the plan with the free verse space? Did you have anybody in mind, you know, apart from Joey B who listened to it and wanted to jump on it? Yeah. Or were you going to do it yourself? So I didn't I didn't have any like I had just make made the record. Mm-hmm. Okay. You know, I had just made the record. I didn't have any plans for it. Where Joey B next down or Joey jump on now? Yeah, where Joey to his sport there. Yes, oh. yeah. like, you know, it, it works out. So then, uh, h- let's go to Hijack. Hijack. Yeah, yeah. Hijack. How's it like working with Nicktoons? Oh, amazing! Nicktoons is an incredible producer. Mm. You know, and he's from Ghana. He's from Ghana as well. Be Ghana boy. Tell my boy to Hard. to be precise. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> put them in there. And then uh, for life. Yeah, for life, that was produced by MOG. Shouts to MOG, you know. MOG, MOG be one of the, like, brightest producers we have from Ghana, mm. you know. Yeah. And that guy be very talented guy. Every time me and I'm the luck in, like, we really make some great stuff. So big ups to MOG, wherever he did. For life, what are you referencing? Oh, for life, it's about um finding a woman and, like, you know, just say I go on arm for life. Mm. Come on, grown yeah. man. Yeah. 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 Street say you That's find him already. Is is crazy a lover boy like oh. you? Know, oh yeah. Oh. I'm in love hey. with you, and I'm in love. Let's do. Let's do another. Let's do another. You dare come this day, Charlie? Charlie, I'm from Tema. From no, but to be to be real, I'm I'm to be very honest with you. I just want to give you your flowers when it comes to love songs. Like anytime you are on the hook. Of a love song, boy, you you do. I I still remember what you did on Coachella. Coachella is Coachella. I mean, Sako did this thing, but you carried the song with your but, with your choruses. You did the but, same with um, Joe Boy as well. Like even with Kitty, 2018, that song still is still in the enter inside. You want yeah. maybe you should give us a love a love project. Oh, we go see. Could see you love go, go, or something because anytime he drops, you know, that. the ladies love you for that. Yeah. You know, I, I noticed that you've been able to secure some feminine fan base when you are Sorry. in your love bag. If you yeah. don't sign all the shit today, go. <laughs> 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 no, no, I, 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 but no, even talking about flowers, before we uh, j- j- let me just bring a few seconds to ask you, do you think that with all that you've contributed to the space, Ghanaians have given you your flowers? 
I mean, that's why all the things you are saying. Love seen, songs. No, no, no. Your, your, your yes. career as a, as a whole. Have we I healed mean, you well? Yeah. Like some of the things you see them see them talk about right now that sometimes may rough you off, you know, badly and everything. But looking back at your career and how far you've come, do you think Ghanaians yeah. have given you, you know, what you are worth? Yeah. Um. I'll say. I'll say. I'm grateful. I'm grateful for um the support. I'm grateful for how people have received me, and yeah, like it be it's usually the dumb ones like Ish. who be throwing stones, mm, you know. Mm, mm. Yeah, like you like most of the like sometimes I do hit up a couple of people who say certain things like, and yeah, I they go through them my timeline. Oh, Charlie. Beans. You know, yeah. yeah my so, mama once said that they say they only throw stones at the tree that bears fruit. So yeah. let them keep throwing yeah, stones. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I think I think it. I think talking about this was a situation you had on Twitter where yeah. um, you allegedly moved to a, a Twitter user because he called you out on something you are not happy about. Yeah. And later, obviously, you came to apologize. Yeah, what happened with yeah. that? Yeah. Oh, I mean, uh, I don't know if I should get into it, but. Um, uh, I just had a brain fart, but yeah, there was a hey. um, um, there Ooh, was a lele. show. That I think Davido show in Atlanta. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah. So there was a, a Davido show in Atlanta where I think yeah. they opened for. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. yeah. And there was a footage that was shared on the internet yeah. that made it look like you know um, he was he had, he had just he had come back to being an underground artist of opening no, the show. No. No. Don't put it like no, no, that. It made it look like people were not. No. I'm saying as it is. No. I'm saying as it looked like it was a bad show. People were not exactly. Let me say it made it look like an underground. No, 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 hold on. I'm telling you. No, the that's, comments. that's 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 the telling you. The I, I, I remember people went the so dumb that, and hard on. on yes, it was, people, yeah. people said Kwesi has blown and has come back to being an underground artist. Look at him opening a show to people. Who uh, but I thought opening uh, opening a show for an artist is a big deal. I'm like coming. it is. I, yeah. I, I, the reason Nothing why I, the reason I brought this up is because I, I want to be able to set the precedent so they wouldn't look like I am yeah, talking yeah. out of my head. I'm telling you what I saw. Yes, no brain fat. No brain fat. And that robbed him of the wrong way. And. To the surprise of many people, he entered the guy's DM to tell him not to, like he was actually very unhappy with the comment. I don't want to get into that comment. The guy is now working for a particular digital media network today. I don't want to give him the props, but I wanted to find out from him how that hit you so hard because that was so uncharacteristic of you. Yeah. Oh. You know, and I know fans talk a lot and fans try to get into, you know, your skin and everything. But that particular one, how how strong was it so much so that you had to get into the guy's DM? Um, I feel like you know he was he's just a kid, you mm. know he just be kiddie way like you they see what people they talk and like they're also feeding, feeding into it, it trying yeah. to like put fuel in the fire, mm. you know. Mm. And yeah, like I shouldn't have even entertained it mm. at that point, mm. you know. But I feel say, yeah, it was it was people being like intentional to try to dampen like the spirit what I'm doing, mm. you know, mm. and like mm. to try to make it look a certain way bro i was in state farm arena bro mm. i was in state farm mm. arena like mm. there was there were people in the building like if but to me like even i tweeted this i'm like even if like two people said they did yes like, i, I would have still performed perform, yeah you know and yeah i don't i, I feel like it'd be education too and like yeah, a lot of so people are just bro. Plain ignorant, mm, you know. Mm, yeah, mm. so they resort to like stuff like this. For for the people who tweeted all that nonsense and you know we're just coming at that crazy, State Farm Arena is a big deal. It is okay. So yeah, educate before. No, you I mean, call yeah. out. Yeah. Yeah. Like, there was a lot of people in the No, no a lot of people won't get on that stage. That's why I was saying to Olele when like he started that. Let's not make it look like you know glorify whatever people started saying because the fact is the fact. You know, even though he opened and the place didn't seem or didn't look like how we would have wanted it to look like, he still did his thing. You know, he still performed, gave his all. Do you understand? So, yeah, I mean, I think that if it was somebody else that wasn't Ghanaian, we will still well, applaud the what, person. This is what I keep saying what I'm every saying? day that, like me, I'll say, I'll say, I call a spade a spade. Our people show love conditionally. Which right? is not right. The fact that Kwesi is in that arena is a win. It's a big Full deal. Stop. Like you said, but I'd be one person with there yeah. or yeah. one thousand people there. Yeah. Being on that stage in that venue, at that arena, it's a win. Yeah. But people go beyond and look for the conditionality of people saying they were yeah. yeah. Because and fact that, is, and some that is why that, that is our problem. Bro. Fact is, some people will never make it to that stage into that arena. You know, in their entire lives. They did the same thing to promise so when you opened for whiskey that the. Uh, yeah, that the yeah, I mean, but not to yeah. digress. Charlie, so, positive yeah. vibes. So, yeah. Yeah. Forget those people. Yeah. Back to see, I'm pointing the skin like I can touch it. Back to the track list. I want to finish up here, right? Um, yeah, you know, so I was talking about the for life, and uh, yeah, we are looking for a love album from Crazy, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Ginger. 
because it's if aha i see the go there's some love coming love in there come. yeah, yeah <laughs> love coming in now yeah so ginger be say like it be about giving them ginger ever more a keke draw na shishi yeah so that's that's what that is about and it was produced by yeah troy taylor and inigo sane yeah, yeah. who be like my og yeah big ups to him whatever he did Fefe uh, Nefe, I mean, that's a term that uh, tic- TikTok, made, shout out to TikTok. You know, popularized. Yeah. 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 Uh, oh, but when we call, we're so in the mood. Street. And that's a bit of a thing. Street. Fefe Nefe. That is BT of a woman. Street. Oh, Lenny. Yeah. Yes, I, I, I need water. Cap. I like a cap. I think I need water. Okay. <laughs> 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 why are you mentioning so my why, name? So, that, that, is that also no, another, is it a love song? We just thought that would be the rest of the issue. Yeah. 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 Yeah, it's a love song, which I just did, like, vibe on you know um and then make a way yeah so make a way is actually like yeah to, for the streets mm. you know for the streets motivation for the streets he'd be paying music mm. you feel in me say whatever we go through yeah still we go make a way yeah. what was the what were you looking out for in compiling the track list for this mixtape what did you overall want to put out there um this is this is a this is a crazy working on a working solo or this is a feel me in a new way i'm putting out a message to you i'm talking in, i'm talking encrypted messages what, what was it for you um so it was it was about like feeding my fans you know like feeding the people who mm. make me who i am as well mm-hmm. you know and i get yeah, just giving them every piece of me as well you know so if you listen like there's a rap song on there Mm. There's Kwesi with the melodies. There's Rage Kwesi. There's every mm. piece of me on there. So this was me, like, just giving the people what they, like, what they know Kwesi out there is. On this, on this series that you put out, this is not a tape. Um, why, why this is not a tape? Yeah, because it's not a tape. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, they kept it, but this, this, this is not, not a tape. This is not a tape. I, I, but I, talking I, about so um, <laughs> giving you know pieces of yourself, um, yeah. you know, for your fans' experience. You recently released a freestyle yeah. that went you know viral, yeah. viral on in socials. Car. One p.m. Yes. in Seattle. Seattle yeah. What was the inspiration behind that? Because I I I am not a rap person. I've said yeah. it to them so many times. But listening to it, I'm like, okay, this is good. Yeah. You know that that was really really good, by the yeah, way. But you. what was the inspiration behind that? Um, so with that song, like I made the beat. You know, like I just um I just got back to producing again. You know, like it do all the one. experiments with like making beats. And, oh, I did produce since like 2013. Yeah, oh. but you know, like for a while, did we I miss had any? Did we? Sorry, trying to be catching you. Did we <laughs> miss any of the bangers that was that was, or any work that you did that you produced? Loki, you didn't mention it. Um, so like most, some of the songs, like I put my inputs in it on the production side. Uh-huh. You know, um, I know, I know, I don't really want to mention. You mm. know, but yeah, wait, one p.m. in Seattle, like I made the beat. Where I'd be like, yo, Charlie, make I just rap on this, mm-hmm. you know? And yeah, I rap on them. I was like, yeah, let me share it with the people, cause I I have I already have a tape out, but yeah, make a make a show them, say, yeah, give them like, some spices. But yeah. what you need, this is not a tape. Rap. This is not a tape. <laughs> I, I, Let's I, talk about the. Oh, okay. sorry, real quick, the Bob, uh, you know, collaboration and the yeah. meet, and the and the meeting up with him and all. Just run us through how it was like, how it came out, what you guys talk about, and everything. Um. So I told I told my manager that. Um, B.O.B. was someone I used to listen to when I was going to the, like, when I would walk to the studio every time. Yeah. Yeah, so she was like, yo, Charlie, like, I was there, and, like, she's just like, yo, let's go to the studio. And, yeah, I happened to meet B.O.B., you know. Wow. Yeah. How so we connect. Like your idol in there? Oh, it, was, it, it felt really good. It felt amazing. You no, know, I'm from Tema. <laughs> <laughs> I'm from Tema, and, like, coming from there, like, these things... You know, the time we grew up, like, internet was just new, you know? Right, right. Yeah, so these things, like, seemed so further away from mm-hmm, us, mm-hmm. you know? So being, seeing this, like, seeing him up close and, like, getting to be in the studio with him multiple times and making music together, mm-hmm. like, yeah, I feel like, yeah, my, the 18-year-old, 19-year-old, mm-hmm. Quisi Arthur was, mm-hmm. like, just yeah. finding out, going crazy. What I have okay, I have S- sorry. Just two quick questions. Right? These are very. So, I'm coming. Um, I'm coming to your question. <laughs> I, mean, I want to talk about real quickly your collaboration with Timmy Music on. Uh, did you on play the, them on the this distribution pro- of the of the yeah of, the, yeah. of, the, of, the, of this project? Of the project. Yeah, uh, there's this, 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 this a partnership. Yes, yes. 
Um, so yeah, shouts to TME Music. Okay. Um, you know, TME saw the CEO of TME Music, like saw the song being released on even yeah. on like the direct to consumer yeah. platform yeah. and like uh-huh. yeah, he hit me up. Um and I've seen I've seen their works, I've seen what they are doing in the Ghana space for upcoming artists and established uh-huh. artists alike. Uh-huh. So I was like, Oh, like as we conversate, I was like, yo, this be like really interesting and like yeah, they, it looks like they have yeah. something real big like they're working on. So yeah, I was like, Oh, let's partner up then. Yeah, we I want to chill more. Street. Yeah, Gains we made it we made it happen. So shout out to Frank. Yeah. Shout out to Charlene. Like big up TME music. Um Ulele. Right. So I wanted to find out from you, um when fans say we want an old type of personality back in music, how you, how do you as an artist understand that? We want the old Christiata back. We want the old Christiata back. As a fan, I may understand what they are trying to say. But as as a creator, as 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 a producer, what is your point of view to such, you know, comments? Um, yeah, I just I just feel like it's people like fiending for fiending for like something that's already happened, you know. Okay. Yeah, like I said. Like yeah, 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 you know, like we have to move on. Right. You know? So the expectation so, yeah. is the fans need to grow with you. Yeah. So it's like, like the, you are growing, but the fans are not growing with you. Is that, is that what it is? Well, I feel that it seems like that is right. people who right. make those statements. Like that is what it looks like. Right. Like, they are trying to like, get across. They're still fixated on the yeah. old, you know. Yeah. Theater. So like you go feel this into the old Look, one, I, but I think yeah. I'm still I, like I'm gonna I'm gonna grow. You know that Quasi Arthur was a different kind of Quasi Arthur. Mm. He had different experiences. Right. You know you don't want me back walking just to go get a studio session. You know like <laughs> doing all types of things. Yeah. The inspiration is different. Session. And it's not. It's yeah. not a yeah. Quasi Yeah. I know like that same person who's not like. Who know they feed chop or you know I thought yeah, the, so the message has changed. Yeah, I thought three like I thought two square meals. You know you right. don't want you don't want me if you really love me you won't wish that for me. So the part you know? two of the question I want to ask is, it is true what you say that you know the inspiration and influence will be different because this is a different stage of your life, right? Someone who say that was a hungry kusiyatha. So now are we are we are we looking at a situation where it's a kusiyatha that is comfortable? It's a Chrissy Arthur that's not looking for a hit songs. Are you doing records or songs today and not looking for a commercial hit and just doing music as you love it? Oh, I'm st- I feel like I'm still hungry. I'm still hungry. And with the type of ears I I have mm. and like the music I connect to, mm. I feel like, yeah, there will always be room for me to make songs that a lot of people connect to as well. Right. You know, this is a commercial. Yeah. I'm talking about like, like commercial yeah, me, I'd be yeah. fan of music. You know, I right. grew up listening to the radio. Right. You know, Bob, okay. I grew up listening to the radio. OK, so, um, yeah, it's it's always going to be a part of me. I'm always going to mm. going to make like great music. Okay. You know? And lastly, um, how is the family treating this newly arrived Chrissy Asa? You know, daddy and money. And, and why did you cut the hair? <laughs> <laughs> oh, the hair, yeah. Then I tie you know? I have them for so long. I see the people they talk say, say, because I grab I attach my hair. <laughs> oh, Charlie. <laughs> what, what level be that? That's funny. You know, yeah. But like, I've had that for so long. For mm-hmm. like six to seven years, you yeah. know. Drive and yeah, I was like, yo, make I, make I just try something When new. you cut your hair, sorry, really, but when, when you cut the hair and you look yourself in the mirror again, like, <laughs> oh, what did yeah. you like? I was like, like, yo, my set, my set, <laughs> <laughs> my set, my set me fire, bro. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But how is how is family? I mean, how are oh, you holding up with family? They've always mommy, been daddy? good. Yeah, they've always been good. You know, we did talk all the time. Mm. You know? I, wait, wait, wait. I bet yeah. on that on that family and hair note again. I bet your mom or dad, one of them, I'm sure they were very happy. Yeah, yeah. when you when you catch oh, your yeah. dad. Oh yeah. Oh my puppy. Then. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Because yeah. I remember, so we called we called his dad, right? And your yeah. dad was like, "Well, yeah, the hair." He was on your case. Yeah, yeah. Yo. for Charlie for time. Mm. You know every. He never liked it. Every time you go tell me, say, "Oh, we need." Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Every time we did talk something. I used to, I used to call with Tefia. Oh, long. She she you know? said some she said some things out there. I just wanted to find out if you are you are cool with it. Well, like I I I don't want to talk about it. Right, you guys are. Yeah, you know. I don't want to talk about it. That's fair. I can respect right. that. As well, a, as a fan and as a music industry player, I just want to say, even Jay Z, mm. right? On on to the next one, he has a line says, 
guy people looking for my niggas, niggas say they want the old me yeah. buy my old album buy my old album <laughs> and that's Jay Z <laughs> no, so no, leave Quincy I, I see I think, no, it's, not, it's not just exclusive to um, yeah that's what I'm saying when EO was here we had the same yeah, the same thing. I think people, fans it's would not, have it's, to it's, grow. it's just nostalgia people see you and like hey Mikaya so they yeah. want in their mind they want but, like, but even with these people they are even not the same in their private yeah, lives yeah, yeah, yeah. you know but where does the backstop change, though things the, change. who do we put that responsibility to thank God for digital media you can go and listen to Grand Day, bro. No, we are, we are not answering the question. <laughs> still I'm still there online. We are not answering still the still question. Still I'm, saying that, your issue. I'm saying that where yeah, do we yeah, draw yeah, the yeah, line guys, to reconcile guys, the expectation of I'm the gonna fans? I'm going to speak for There's the no line. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah I want to speak for I the fans. I want to finish, finish. Yeah, it's finish. fan president. Where yeah, global we, fan president. Yes. And this is beyond crazy. Yeah. Like, even for other artists, right? Uh-huh. Where do we draw the line of reconciliation for the same fans who made the artists who they are today and they're expecting something? And on behalf of the fans, I want to answer. On behalf of the fans, I want to answer. Let your man fully answer. There shouldn't be any drawing of any line because people grow, people change, yes. right? Artistry I mean, is dynamic. It's not, it shouldn't be static. Are we it shouldn't be that static. It shouldn't be the same. Life is progressive, Guys, bro. Yeah. Yeah. So you can't be stuck I'm expecting the same thing from the same person. Are you saying that the fans should also give room to themselves to grow with yes. that? Yes. But yes. you know they grow. You want to listen yes. to the same thing. Wait, wait, wait. Let me, let, me, let, me, let me answer for the, ask for the fans and yes. answer for the fans Let's and throw it back to you. Because there's no fans here. So, you know, I just wanted to speak for the oh, fans. Fans, I'm speaking for us. So what I'm just saying is that um, in as much as we love to see the artists get dynamic and do other things and show us new spaces, um, there is something that we, we the fans, can't grow. You understand? All we do is to support what was given to us. Mm. So I've been going to a chop bar to eat jollof, and then I've been eating fufu and light soup. And when I went there, they changed the soup from, from brown to gold. Yo, and tell me that it's growth. Mm-hmm. I mean, I, this is the chop bar, yo. Mm-hmm. This is what I've been buying. Yeah. And Give Timoni, you I change want. the watches, taste. I'm not coming there again. <laughs> so that's the fan language. Yeah. So, so how do you answer that to the for the fans? That's fan? what I'm saying. How do you answer Fair that enough. to the fans? Well, well, like it be arts, you know, arts no be chill. Yeah. No. But show be, show be at. Oh no! No! Shout to Chef. Tell him I share inside that too. Why are we clean? Let me go. Are you okay, bro? Uh, bro are you okay? Uh, it's my family members. Yeah. 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 So no, no, I, I'm asking for the fans. I'm asking yeah. for the fans. That like, expectation like brought you from line. greatness, yeah. bro. Yeah. Even when Fifty before. Cent started building his movie empire and his TV empire, people were like, "You switch up, blah blah." But he got like ten times richer and more powerful. Imagine if you listen to those people instead of G Unit ish. Why would I tell it? Go, my brother. I am, I am happy that <laughs> I'm happy to hear Move, you started bro. your old um, music platform business. Yeah. Um, any other thing that you were doing, like are you in agriculture? Because I hear most of the artists are looking to go into farming these days. Oh yeah, I'm lo- I'm looking to go into agriculture soon. What are you yeah. looking to? What what type of farms, oh, just money. food, you know, mm. like just food. Well, the first like, first before job. Yeah, food. So <laughs> we should see, we should expect a restaurant in Tama soon. Oh, not be restaurant per se, but like just agriculture, yeah. like. Feed people. Feed people. Okay, he wants right. to ship just make food. 20 containers of yam <laughs> to Europe every day. <laughs> make you food. Why you talking? That way. That, that way. way. That 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 way. <laughs> um, uh, this might be too early to ask, though, but it still came in, so let me just put it out. Um, so, what's post this e- uh, mix mixtape now? It's not the um, mixtape. This is not the mixtape. It's not the thing. Charlie, yesterday and today, they be like, Bang, boss, yo, we did get this. I think that bang, bang, next week, oh, you work like, I just want to say, if, if you're in your bag, I'm not going to cover for you. <laughs> You gonna give it to so you work on right. on the on the tape. Um, so like there's there's more music, you know, there's more music coming. But I want people to enjoy this one, you know, take this one in, have it live with them for a while, you know, till the tape drops. But this is not the tape, but yeah, it be mixtape. What's what's your favorite on this one? Ten songs. What's your favorite on that? Nine. Oh, sorry, nine songs. Yeah. So Charlie, you put me in a tight corner, but I did really gravitate towards um. Raging Bull. Raging, you Raging mentioned Bull. it four times, bro. Yeah, Raging, <laughs> Raging Bull, Make a Way, um, Fefe Nefe. Mm. That's top three. Top three. Fefe so. Nefe, One of One. Just yeah. say all nine, bro. <laughs> it's okay, all nine. So what was the, what was the excite, what was the most exciting thing of doing this project? You know, Jay talk about the playlist and how you came up about the the selected. I'm sure there were more tracks, but yeah. this nine were the selected few. But 
what was your favorite thing about doing this project? What was the most difficult thing putting this project together? Oh, creating it, creating it was the most beautiful part of it. Because mm. as, like, when you start creating, you don't, like, actually know where it's going to end up, yeah. you know? Like, even yeah. creating, the process of creating a song, mm. you know, like, mm. it could start in a setting where you go think, say, oh, it'll go this way, like, and then mm. it ends up going a whole other way, mm. you know? So that's, mm. like, the most beautiful part of it, mm. you know? And, like, in the difficult aspects probably like clearing the songs okay you know mm. yeah that'd Technical be, that'd be like yeah, yeah that'd be like the most Stress. difficult way that'd be the longest thing wow you know yeah that'd so be long so averagely if you're doing a project like that you know what's the duration you know of time you consider in finishing a song or when do you realize you realize that the song is done yeah because you talked about the creation process and how it's a beautiful gen everything so like, what's the average times? Like, the two weeks, a month? Do you go, leave it, come back, listen to it again? You know, or you give to people to listen to it, so give me your feedback. And yeah. All all that is happening at the same time. Like, what what do you consider to say, okay, this song is done, this song should be done by one month, it should be done because I need to do the project? Yeah, well, when I feel like, oh, there's nothing more to be added or there's nothing more to it's change. It's instinctive. Yeah, okay. yeah. Because with a song like, even Raging Bull, like, how it it got started like yeah. i was looking to change it too you know right. but then i tried something else where i was like I'm nah it lose the initial feeling of it mm. so make i just keep it that mm. way mm. you know mm. with a song like fair fair and fair yeah i had to revisit it a couple of times right you know like i go do some line then i go back then i change them after like a couple of weeks right, right. you know yeah so it actually depends on the song to those who watch us live on facebook sorry i mean i'm trying to re reload the internet but um just keeps popping on and off I all your I, comments um in there i see some of you have a wish list of we want to hear crazy do a rhyme and stuff i mean i wish we could do that our time is really fast spent um someone is asking when you can when you're going to come to ho hoi um hey, soon to h city oh, link up link yeah. up my house that too so when oh, you go around me, I got you from there. Oh, no, Idris no. is asking when a question. I don't think we can. Mm. So. King treatment, bro. When you go around me, I don't know. Why? Why we say Ghanaians won't know who people they date and tell? Oh, <laughs> same question. Same like you, Muma. Me and what they, what they, what they, what they, what they have to be not like dating a girl. That's all. I don't even says I wrote a song. I want him to drop it for me. I don't know how. I don't know how that is gonna be. One promo. One make. What's up with Kwesi and Big Homie Flea? You want to answer that? Um, how could I forget this? Um, Charlie, long, 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 long. long. Okay. But like, um, yeah, big on me, flee. Like, yeah, yeah, all cool. That was my I brother, know you guys, man. Yeah, that was your brother. Yeah. Okay. Cause see, I've got yeah. this kid, uh, who's um in a uh, school called DPS. I think it's um yeah. it's one of the international schools, right? Yeah. 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 Who's a big fan, and says that um he's standing there. If I have two, he's standing for uh head boy and head girl. Yeah. And they won't quit theater to, um, <laughs> to what you would call it. Or in those yeah, and those yeah, and and the big fan. So apparently, they saw that the poster go up yesterday. Yeah, they wanted to. <laughs> so crazy. They want. They want. Please into, into into politics. Yeah. <laughs> okay. But big up yourself. Yeah, hey, crazy. Please yeah. wait. Oh, I beg you. This one, they, they will kill me. <laughs> eh. Kwame and um, and the, the girl's name is Mona Lisa. Oh, uh, Kwame and Mona Lisa, big up yourselves. I wish you guys all the best. Thank you. So, yeah. Kwame and Mona Lisa, I'll cut that for you and I'll send yeah. it to you. <laughs> I, I, I just wanted him to really clear the air on you and Big Homie Flea's um, situation. I noticed that you guys exchanged some apology tweets, you know, um, some things that oh, you that said. that time is up, everything. though. Yeah, I just want him to clear okay. the air on that, you know. So, you want to talk about it? Um. Well, I feel like, yeah, I, like I apologize for... Whatever I what said, yeah, you know, yeah. yeah, like the move, yeah, long, long, long. Chai, in Kwesiate's world. Thank you so much, bro. Thank, Thank you. you. So welcome, much, welcome back to City. Um, I know you're gonna jet uh, jet off again very soon. Oh, some, yeah. some yeah. point in time, for a few <laughs> weeks, <laughs> for a few weeks, it go lost yeah, again. Y'all need but, to leave but alone. Let him have his privacy. Are, yeah, we are honored yeah. to have you first. You Thank know, you when so you so touched, so you and your team, big up. Charlie, someone said his songs inspired him whenever he was learning in 2017. There's also and then all brilliant and I know it's you. Big up yourself, Crazy. <laughs> well done. Uh, we can Thank only you wish so you the much. best. For us here at Three Music, we are so open and well, you know, open to any conversation to push the crafts, you know, um, to put in the work as well to support, to help. And uh, hey, once you win, we win. That's all. That's all. Thank that you counts. so much for having Thank me. Thank you so much as well. So, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we are out. We're back again on Monday. Have a good one and stay safe. Peace.